Hi friends! Um, so today is May 10th, so I'm kind of late in filming this video, which is going to be my April wrap-up video, and a little insight into what's going on already so far for May. I guess I'm just gonna hop into it because I don't really know what else to say. I'm so silly! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Satin. I'm an indie author of four, soon to be five, young adult romance books. Um, they're all linked down below. Two Kinds of Us is available on pre-order, so if you guys want to go pre-order your copy, my goal is to get 50 copies, and I'm trying to remember to, like, put my my current pre-order numbers in the description box. So the goal is 50 ebook pre-orders, so fingers crossed. Links are down below, like I said. Welcome back to my channel. You can tell it's been a while because I forgot to do that. <laughs> wow, okay, let me, let me, ah, well, let's, ah, I don't know what I want to talk about. I mean, I do know what I want to talk about, but I don't know what order I want to talk about it in. I think I'm going to address the, the, um, actual part where I have been so sick and, um, you can kind of still hear my voice, which is kind of, awkward um but i'm finally feeling okay enough at the moment to film something it's not you know the big c uh, <laughs> but it's it's just been it's actually been a lot of things and it just has been hitting me one after the other um so first off i had an ibs flare up um two weeks ago that was what started this all off and then I had like a cold for one or two days and then I had like a break so my parents got sick and once they started feeling better, I started feeling horrendous. I would have terrible heartburn every single day, which you're going to have a vlog of all the compiled clips that I have filmed where I'm just not, I don't feel good, but I'm updating you guys. A little bit anyway, every once in a while. Um, that's going to be coming soon. I'm trying to catch up on the vlog footage right now because I did have two or three vlogs backlisted. Like I had them ready to be uploaded like the day in my life vlog where I was trying to do a full-time author routine. Um, that was filmed in advance and I had that sitting and I had the cover of your vlog sitting. Um, I think we're catching up on footage. So one of the next vlogs should be the vlog where I have all my I'm sick. <laughs> kind of clips. I had terrible heartburn for several days in a row and it really affected my sleep because when I mean heartburn for me it kind of flares up when I sleep so I it really affected my sleep so I hadn't been sleeping I would sleep for three hours at a time and then be up for five hours sleep for three hours then be up like my body it was like clockwork it would wake me up after three hours of sleep and it has just been exhausting. Um, I took, like, I, I was taking medication and it wasn't working. Like, I was taking NyQuil. Um, nothing, you know, like, nothing helped. And um, I finally am starting to kick the heartburn, thank God. Um, and another thing that was really stressing me out and making my sleep terrible is that I have been starting to have sleep paralysis. Um, and that's when, like, your body, so I have it when I wake up. So if I wake up in the middle of the night, say, um, it's like my brain is tra transferring from, like, one stage of sleep to REM sleep, REM, REM, I don't know. Uh, and for some reason, my mind wakes up in between those stages, but my body does not. So I am lucid enough to know that I'm awake, but I cannot move my body. And it, it's, it's, it's very scary in the moment, um, because, like, for me, I feel like I'm still kind of dreaming, but I'm still kind of awake, but I know I can't move, and that's scary, because, I don't know, I'm always afraid, like, I won't be able to breathe, so my heart rate goes up way high when those, when that happens, and, that affects my sleep then because when I fully wake up from that, because I don't ever fall back to sleep after I have it, once I wake up and I can move again, I don't want to go back to sleep. And when I'm going to sleep, I'm afraid to go to sleep because I don't want it to happen. So my sleep has been terrible. And when you're sick, one of the best things that you can do is stay hydrated and sleep. <laughs> so I have just been in a constant cycle of sick and no sleep. So that is why the vlogs have been kind of like, I still am posting April footage, 
Um, I haven't been really updating. I have no live streams scheduled for this month. Um, you may have noticed that I still have not updated my uploaded my live stream schedule. And that's partly because I do have my deadline of May 15th and I really need to be full steam ahead. I love the live streams, but working 20 minutes at a time and then talking for 15 is kind of hard for me to get actual like progress done. And plus I'm sick. I don't want to be on camera when I don't feel good. Um, so that's another reason. And right now it's so unpredictable how I'm going to feel on, it's so unpredictable. Like yesterday was a good day, and then, actually no, yesterday was a terrible day, what am I talking about? Saturday was a good day, and then yesterday was a terrible day. And so it's kind of all over the place, but I am, I'm thinking about taking the month off of live streams this month, and just working on my deadline, and then working on Edith's book, and then taking like two weeks off at some point once it's all finished. Not of YouTube, I probably will still keep vlogging, but keeping taking two weeks off of writing, and I might even vlog that too. I'm just hoping I kick this, whatever this is, I think it's multiple things. I think it's just multiple things, you know? And that's when you know it's the worst. <laughs> when there's, when you, when you have a sore throat, runny nose, upset stomach, chest pain, you know, the whole nine yards, it's not fun. <laughs> so... I, I think I'm on like the upward trend of it now. Um, I haven't had heartburn for two days, which is fantastic because holy cow, I was having it so bad where I thought I needed to go to the emergency room. Heartburn sucks, guys. Heartburn sucks. Chest pain, I don't I don't deal with it. I don't I don't mess with it. Um, that's where I'm at though. That is why I have been kind of I don't know. I mean, I haven't been really MIA. I've been on social media. I've been on Instagram. I haven't been posting many, like, talking things. I posted one today where I was like, guys, I'm sick, but I gotta work. Just because I wanted to post my face, because I haven't posted my face in a long time. Um, all the selfies I've been posting are old selfies. <laughs> uh, but I, I just wanted to come on and, like, say, hey, I'm alive. I barely. I <laughs> I haven't done my live stream schedule. I don't think I'm gonna be doing live streams this, this month. I have one planned with Zara at the end of the month, so look out for that. I think it's the 23rd. Um, otherwise, I don't really have much planned. Recap for April. I did. What was my get? What was my goals for April again? My goals for April were that's my Patreon. Finish Edith book draft two. I did not do that. Um, we talked about that in the camp goals, but we'll recap it again. Um, I'm close, but I'm not there yet. I still have to write the, the end. So I have about three or four chapters left. Since Two Kinds of Us is needs to get done, I put Edith's book on the back burner for right now until the 15th. I also took time off uh, client work, which is Fiverr. Um, which I'm so glad I did because I did it initially because I knew I would need time to work on Edith's book. No, work on Two Kinds of Us. But I'm so glad I did because, y'all, I am not in it. <laughs> uh, the next thing was Fast Draft a Book. Did not do that. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not even, we're not even, gonna, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Build Arc List, which I did. I posted my arc sign-ups and I have a list compiled of 50 people um I want to say I can I couldn't accept everybody unfortunately there were oh there were a lot of sign-ups uh I think there were 86 and my cap was 50 so I randomly chose 50 I I'm really honored that you guys want to read my book and you sign up to be arc readers um keep an eye out for giveaways I do have giveaways coming up I um We'll have giveaways as well, so. And the signed copies are available for pre-order now. I forgot to say that. I think um, they are available, so if you want to go down below and pre-order your book, you totally can. Cover reveal, check. We did that on April 30th, and I posted the cover reveal, like, um, video and trailer, as well as the cover reveal vlog, so go check those videos out too. And then I also have write Patreon story, so yeah. That is something I did as well. For May goals, let's talk about May goals really quick. Oh my goodness. The more I'm talking, the more I'm like, ah, where'd my other headphone go? Obviously need to get Two Kinds of Us fully finished because release day is June 9th. I pushed it back from June 20th, from May 25th. 
it's June 9th now and so that gives me a little bit of more wiggle room in terms of like if I send it to ARCs and somebody finds a typo I can still change it where if my release day was May 25th I wouldn't have the time to change it and so I think that just works a little bit better in terms of like timeline and my own stress so I feel good about that about pushing it back Two Kinds of Us goes to ARCs May 17th, so everything needs to get finished by May 15th, so that's top priority, but that still leaves, like, the rest of the month to, like, open-ended. Um, so what I'm thinking is work on Edith's book throughout the end of the month, hopefully, like, within the first week I can finish it. I'm really, I'm really close um, I gotta figure out my timeline because I wanted to have that book to beta readers, um, in somewhere in May and then have it back by June 1st and that's not gonna happen. Um, so I gotta figure out a new timeline, see what I'm gonna do that way, but, um, the goal, ideal goal is to work on Edith's book and then take time off, um, because I have been kind of going like a mad woman since October and um which is great i love i love that for me that's like the ideal kind of lifestyle i am such a go 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 kind of person um i was talking to my mom last night she thinks like i don't ever turn my brain off and i kind of don't like i don't ever have time where i'm just sitting thinking about like random stuff i'll always have a headphone in my ear playing music playing youtube videos playing podcasts netflix always um, so I'm always consuming some sort of media and I'm always thinking about writing. I'm thinking about like what the next book's going to be. I'm thinking about what the cha next chapter is going to sound like. Um, if my character development is off, you know, I'm always, my brain is always on. Um, so I'm, I need to try and turn my brain off a little bit every now and again, which I don't really know what that means. Um, just quiet time I guess for my little brain and I will not be able to think about writing like that's a no-no I don't know I don't know I I need time where I can decompress I don't feel compressed but I think it's showing I think my immune system is telling me Sarah you are stacking up a lot on your plate because I have no idea why else everything in my body would be like malfunctioning <laughs> so I think the stress is just getting to me um, and I think it's okay. I mean, everybody needs a break once in a while, you know? Um, I'll take days off here and there, but I think there's something so strong and so important about a dedicated space of time off, like a vacation, you know? And I think that's, there's something so important about that, and I've just been neglecting that part that I need. Goodness gracious, why am I crying? I'm fine. I'm just, I, I, I'm just, I don't know. I just, I just, I just think I need it, and that's the goal, so to, I want to finish Edith's book before I take that time off, because the ideal thing is to finish Edith's book, send it to betas, and then that's my time off while they're reading it. Do you know what I mean? So, that's the idea, the being said, that's me for May. Um, no live streams this month, I'm so sorry that I was looking forward to them too, but I just don't, I just think it's smart to take just some time off from it you know what I'm saying so no live streams my patreon is still coming out on May 15th I will never skip that except this month it's going to be two chapters the first two chapters from two kinds of us so you guys get the preemptive first look as well as some character some desktop backgrounds I've been playing around with them there's so much fun uh, I can't wait for you guys to see them I'm gonna be posting this on patreon and as well as a little short story that I wrote in high school. My mom is convincing me to post it. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, so you're going to get to see that cringiness. And um, Two Kinds of Us is due May 15th. Technically, it's due like May 16th, but I'm like using that as a buffer day. Edith's book needs to get done. It's in debates. So big projects um, finishing up this month. So that's going to be crazy. <sighs> I was hoping to be able to like document it more in depth because we're coming into the last days, last processes, you know, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like I want to push myself, document everything in depth right now just because I have been so sick and I know you guys are going to understand that so I really want to say thank you in advance because you guys have been so patient with me and I know this content isn't like exactly what the content you want to see. I know the cover of your vlog wasn't really that fun. There wasn't anything like too, ooh, that's so cool about it. You know what I mean? So I just want to say thank you for sticking with me. Um, I'm trying really hard to like 
figure out some ideas for vlogs like the day in the life vlog where I try to be a full-time author for a day. I want to do more vlogs like that where I'm doing just day vlogs where I'm trying something new. Um, but I think I just, I think I want to figure out something for me and what works. Try to find something that is just suited for me and I feel like passionate about, you know what I mean? I love the vlogs, I really do, but I know a lot of you loved the that day vlog where I was full-time. Oh my gosh, I look rough. <laughs> that, oh also, allergies are kicking my butt. Yeah, so I don't know what I was saying, but <laughs> I am going to be kind of here and there this month, the rest of this month. So bear with me. Um, I really want to say I appreciate everybody who's been so kind and saying they hope I feel better because I hope I feel better too. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but it could go back there now. You know, I'm fine with it. I'm actually out my shed right now to start writing, to start proofreading actually, to listen to my proofread out loud. So I should go and do that. It is 5.39, so we need to do progress. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember, all my books are linked down below. If you haven't pre-ordered Two Kinds of Us yet and you wanted to, it would really make my day. I got signed paperback pre-orders down below. And I'm also going to be offering signed book plates soon for my international readers. Um, so you guys can stick it on your book and, you know, pretend it's signed. Or it is signed. Um, have it signed. Um, and for people who have my book, like they bought it before I had signed copies available. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check in soon. Hopefully have more sit down videos to come. Um, I'm Sarah Satin. I'm an indie author of four soon to be five young adult romance books and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh...